Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Good evening, I'm Jonathan Bass and for Gina DeVecchio. Here's a live view from Monterey Portola Hotel and Spa. Infrared satellite imagery shows a few high clouds moving over the area today, but otherwise we were mostly clear with some low clouds that were stuck in the Central Valley throughout most of the day today. Temperatures right now remain in the 50s and 60s. San Jose is at 56, a 62 currently in Santa Cruz, a 61 in Salinas, and Big Sur is currently at 62 degrees. Our overnight lows dipped down into the 30s and 40s, and daytime highs today, there is quite a range, an 11 degree range in the Santa Cruz Mountains, 62 in Boulder Creek, 73 in Scotts Valley, and down by the beach, oh, Santa Cruz, uh, 69. We had Marina at 70, Pacific Grove 68 and a 75 in Carmel today, and a little bit of a range in the Salinas Valley too, from 70 in Salinas to 63 in Gonzales and a 66 in King City. And then moving into the Santa Clara Valley, we had Gilroy at 68, San Jose 65, and then Hollister reached 66 degrees today. Infrared satellite imagery shows a ridge of high pressure over California. Off to the west, we've got a weak low pressure disturbance producing some clouds there and a, another more significant low pressure disturbance in the Pacific North, or excuse me, um, up to our northwest. So let's go ahead and take a look at how these are going to impact us as we move through the week. Here's that ridge of high pressure and here's those clouds offshore produced by those weaker disturbances. Tomorrow, this ridge moves eastward and as it does, we're going to have variable uh, cloudiness of high clouds basically but through about the second from about the second half of the day moving forward will become more cloudy and those clouds will stick with us through Monday increasing throughout Monday and by Monday night we've got rain moving from north to south into our area now this model run has the rain moving in a little bit earlier than previous model runs starts uh, in the Santa Cruz mountains and then will push its way southward it's also pushing further south in this model run than it has in previous runs we're looking at a, a precipitation range anywhere from about a tenth of an inch in the lightest areas up to about three tenths of an inch in the Santa Cruz Mountains. As we get into Wednesday, those clouds will clear out and then we'll be looking at another ridge of high pressure until the next disturbance starts heading our way Thursday and Friday. Our forecast for tonight, we're going to see some increasing clouds. Temperatures will be on the mild side, mid 40s to low 50s, and winds will remain light. Highs tomorrow, a little bit warmer than today. San Francisco will get to 63, Fremont 67, and Mountain View up to 65 degrees. We'll get a 71 in Gilroy today, another 71 in Hollister. And in the, in the Salinas Valley, a 72 in Salinas, up to about 74 in Soledad and King City. Greenfield looking at a high of 73, uh, 75 for Carmel Valley, and then mid to upper 60s around the Monterey Peninsula, Pacific Grove, a 65, Monterey, a 68, and another 68 in Marina for tomorrow. Watsonville should be looking at a high of 71, just a couple degrees cooler in Santa Cruz, and then a 73 in Scotts Valley for tomorrow. Our KSBW eight-day forecast shows clouds throughout the week this week. We've got rain headed our way on Tuesday. It's, it's relatively light. We'll get a, a break on Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday, we'll get another shot of rain. Overnight lows, they'll be uh, on the mild side, mostly in the 40s. We'll dip down a little bit cooler as we head into next weekend with rain headed our way Monday night and again Thursday and Friday night. Another chance next weekend as well.